and we launched uh, the service secretary. Is it right, service secretary? Yes, anti-corruption court as well. An anti-corruption court. As we came, we, we, did, uh, we launched the anti-corruption court. It, it began to work on the 5th of September. Right. It was, okay. you know, it was after five days we had the new government. So we are ready. We want to show that we, 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 we just, just come. And if somebody, if you, if we, we, you want to help us, uh, so just let's do business cases. Right. We have many investment cases. We are ready. And stop corruption in Ukraine, because that will really make you great. That will make you great personally, and it will also uh, be so tremendous for your nation in terms of what you want to do and where you want to take it. Uh, thank you very much. It's a great honor. Thank you very much. Mr. President, President Zelensky, have you felt any pressure from President Trump to investigate Joe, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden? I think you read everything. So you, I think you read text. I, uh, I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to be involved to democratic, open, uh, um, elections, elections of USA. No, you heard that we had, uh, I think, good uh, phone call. It was normal. We spoke about many things, and I. So, so I think, and you read it that nobody pushed it, pushed me. Yes. In other words, no pressure. President, President, Trump, President, Trump, President Trump, Trump. Because you know what? There was no pressure, and you know there was. And by the way, you know there was no pressure. All you have to do is see it. What went on on the call? But you know that. But you could ask the question. And I appreciate the answer. Mr. Go ahead. President, Mr. President, would you like President Zelensky to do more on Joe Biden and investigate? No, I want uh, him to do whatever he can. This was not his fault. He wasn't there. He's just been here recently. But whatever he can do in terms of corruption, because the corruption's massive. Now, when Biden's son walks away with millions of dollars from Ukraine and he knows nothing, and they're paying him millions of dollars, that's corruption. When Biden's son walks out of China with $1.5 billion in a fund, and the biggest funds in the world can't get money out of China, and he's there for one quick meeting, and he flies in on Air Force Two, uh, I think that's a horrible thing. I think it's a horrible thing. But I'm going far beyond that. Uh, I know the president, and I've read a lot about Ukraine. I've read a lot about a lot of countries. He wants to stop corruption. He was elected, I think, number one on the basis of stopping corruption which unfortunately has plagued Ukraine. And if he could do that, he's doing really the whole world a big favor. I know, and I think he's going to be successful. The House in, the, in the phone call, you said that you would look into uh, Joe Biden. You would ask your prosecutor to look into the matter. Have you had that conversation? Well, I think, no, I haven't, but I I'm think that, I think this. I think that somebody, if you look at what he did, it's so bad. Where his son, he goes to China, he walks away with a billion and a half dollars. He goes to Ukraine and he walks away with $50,000 a month and a lot of money in addition to that. And the whole thing with the prosecutor in Ukraine. And he's on tape. This isn't like maybe he did it, maybe he didn't. He's on tape doing this. I saw this a while ago. I looked at it and I said, that's incredible. I've never seen anything like that. Now, either he's dumb or he thought he was in a room full of really good friends. Or maybe it's a combination of both in his case. President Zelensky.